Yes. <laughs> um, wake up. Just kidding. I, I haven't seen a David's video that big for a while. Nice. Except when I like go really close to the computer screen. <laughs> Shouldn't do that. Um, so yeah, so that's uh, that's a little taste of Wong Fu. Um, I guess we'll go into each one of uh, those videos right now because they each kind of represent not only the like style of videos that we like to do, but also the way we work. Um, yeah, please. So the first one was Kung Fu. That was. Did you guys like that? Was it funny? Yeah. yeah. Who's, who saw it for the first time tonight? <laughs> oh, no, no, there's some of you. Cool. Yeah. That means you're not watching our videos all the time. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I think you wrote that like a, a while ago, right? Yeah, like it's at just, night, yeah. one night. It was just a, an idea that I had. This is how like a lot of things are. Just you know, you, you there's a joke, you know, and you're thinking, oh, that, let's expand that joke. The joke of like you know, in America, I think a lot of uh, people think that just. If you look Asian, you probably know Kung Fu. And so I was like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if we turned that stereotype, you know, against someone that thought that? Um, no, no, wasn't it like uh, we were on tour? We were on tour and then we were at this airport, and, oh, right? What happened? The Ninja Assassin thing. Huh? Ninja Assassin? Oh. Right? <laughs> we're, yeah, we were like in the middle of like the Midwest America. Okay, so like no Asian people. I don't no, know. like no. It was like a transfer at the airport and then we were in line, and like we were like the only Asian people in like this line of like maybe like 50 white people, and then there's like a TV playing, um, you know, uh, like a, a trailer for a movie on TV, um, and it was like for Ninja Assassin, you know, the one with like Rain. And so, what's, it, was, what's, it was like this outrageous like uh, kung fu fighting or not kung fu, like fighting action film, right? And uh, all these Asian people fighting, and then. Like, we're just watching all the, like, Caucasian people watching that, and then, like, we look at each other, and we're like, I wonder if they think that about us. <laughs> I wonder if that's the only, like, knowledge they have of Asian people. And so, that's kind of like, you know, we, we just, that stereotype, you know, so we, we, there's that joke, and so I thought, okay, let's expand that joke, and let's turn it into a short. And so, type up a script. This is, like, typical Wong Fu, this is how we work, you know? Type up a script, share it with Wes and Ted, they say, it sucks. Then let's get out. You have a stamp of like, <laughs> like or dislike. Yeah. Uh, no, they, they, they you know, give tips and like, well, you know, what they think would make it funnier or what they think doesn't work. Once we have a final script, um, we just start calling up friends. We're like, we need a cast. Yeah. Who, who do we get? And luckily, you know, we, we have the uh, opportunity to work with really cool people because of the YouTube community. So we could put ourselves in it. But we know much cooler and uh, funnier, funnier people. Or fitting, fitting for the fitting. roles. Yeah. So yeah, people like uh, Freddie W. Who watches Freddie? Like Freddie. It's cool because Freddie usually does the special effects stuff, but this one, he's just being himself. <laughs> and then there's this guy named Ryan. I love, it's amazing how you guys yell so loud, but he's not even here. Yeah. It's like, I, I can't imagine if we actually brought him. I'd be like, Ryan! <laughs> no, he just Don't do that to them. He's on this side. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, <laughs> man. So, so yeah, we, we call up our friends and then we just go, we, we're like, I, I, the, the way we write these shorts, we're like, okay, let's, let's write them so that they're easy to shoot. So that's like, okay, let's shoot it in the alley, you know, or shoot it on sidewalk. Because that way we don't have to ask for permission. We just go. <laughs> we, just, we just shoot and hope no one stops us. Um, so yeah, we just shot it in a day, and then that, and that was that. You go back and edit it, and there's one short. That's, that's typical Wong Fu power. That's like neutral, like, or cruise control power. Yeah. And, then, and then there's Wong Fu that's uh, stripped down like bare essentials, and that's like a two-man crew with the cast, and that's it. And that's basically how we made the second short that we showed you. Shell was also written in a day. It was shot in a day and a half. Um, it was just us two. Uh, I was on camera. Phil was doing sound and light. I was like, 
like this. Holding it. Yeah. She's pretty good at holding stuff. Um, but yeah, we, we just went, we went over, uh, the, the location was um, uh, the actress's uh, apartment. So we just went over to her place, spent a few hours, shot that first part, and then the next day waited till sunset, and then shot that second part. And then the rest of the time was just editing. And that's it, that's that short. So like, yeah, that was, that's Wong Fu like stripped out, but you probably wouldn't be able to tell you know, between that and something that had like a crew of 20 maybe. Um, I, I just thought of a good analogy for it. So there's the, the Kung Fu like normal is like the, the jeepney bus, right? And then, what's the one that's like the two-seater? Like that's just, what? The tricycle? So yeah, Shell is like the tricycle. And then, but then you have uh, videos that are like, like a nice air-conditioned, Sedan or like nice bus or limousine, which is like uh, the um, the by my side video because that one you know we did everything with like we had like permits and insurance and we had a crew um, and it, it was still like a small crew it was like a big crew but we had we actually had help I wasn't holding lights and the sound or whatever we had some other people to help us um, we weren't we weren't blowing up a hundred balloons by ourselves thank God. <laughs> um, but there are still like elements of like resourcefulness that are like always inherent in Wong Fu production stuff. Like uh, you know the little, the little rocks that he ties the balloons to. We at first we're like, okay, we need to find rocks. How much do rocks cost? And then we're like, why are we paying for rocks? <laughs> and so we asked a friend, we're like, do you have rocks? And she's like, yeah, I have some rocks in my backyard. <laughs> okay, bring those. And that's what we used. And then, and then, like, after we, we finished the shoot, she had to take them all back and put, it, put them in her backyard again. <laughs> but yeah, no, so that was a little, that was a, 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 ch a bigger challenge, you know, we, we had to build scaffolding and get someone to build a door, and we had, like, a crane, it was, it was a lot of fun, you know, we had a lot more toys, and, you know, you could sort of see it in the video, like, it, it has a little different feel. But still, yeah, like, that Wong Fu, Wong Fu style, I guess, and I think we like to, we like to, you know, give an example of these three kinds of videos because it really shows that um, you don't need to have a whole lot of stuff to just go make something good. Um, we know we have friends, granted yes, we were visual arts majors, it wasn't film school. People think we went to film school. Film school is something way different. We have friends that go to film school, they come out and they say, man, I really want to make this short film, but I need $50,000 to do it. What is, that in, what is that in the pesos, times 40? Something? 45? That's a lot of money, okay? And it's like, just to make like a short film, we're like, dude, we shot Shell, which was like screened at like, you know, a film festival for like 50 bucks. <laughs> maybe less than that. Less than that, maybe. Yeah. So, so we, we, yeah, we definitely encourage people to, you know, not feel the lim like limitations. Like, there's always going to be, you know, um, you know, obstacles in the way, but as long as you have a good story and good content, um, you know, there, there's, there's ways around it, and that's, that's really what we believe in, and that's, that's how Wong Fu works, that's how we started. You know, we didn't have big budgets, you know, to start out with. Uh, the cameras that we were using were, like, like the, the one we invested in together. Yeah. That, that puppy that we had, <laughs> it, was, um, it was less powerful than, like, the iPhone cameras, you know, so imagine what you could do with an iPhone now, okay? I feel bad for all the cameras that are being pointed at us because they want to be making like films and stuff, but instead they're pointing at us just sitting here. <laughs> but uh, we're not saying that there's any like better way. Like when Phil said that some of our friends said they needed a certain amount of money to do something, we're not saying that's a worse way than than, than how we do things. It's just a different way because they they're trained and they went to school with a certain kind of uh, process, you know. And uh, it makes sense to, to do things like that too. Yeah, definitely. If, if you did, maybe I should have said that. The reason why we can do things so cheap sometimes is because we're just shooting on sidewalks <laughs> and we're hoping that security guards don't stop us. Um, but no, I, I, yeah, definitely. You know, you can, with the right budget, you can make different different kinds of things. We just want to encourage you not to let. You know, there's ways around. Be resourceful. And um, yeah, that's that's how we work. That's that's a little insight of how how Wong Fu does. Maybe now when you watch our new videos, you can like you can uh, say, oh, that, I think that was a tricycle video, <laughs> or, or I think that was a, a big rig, you know. So now uh, you know. Um, now we're gonna go uh, away again and let you watch a couple new things um, or a couple things. Uh, we're gonna play 
Something that's brand new? We're gonna play something brand new. It's very flattering, but you can clap after you like it. <laughs> if you decide that it doesn't suck. I, yeah, what if it's really bad? Uh, so, this one, it's not released yet. It's actually not, it's not even a final edit yet. Some of the music needs to be changed. But it's, a, it's just a short story set in Los Angeles uh, between two people. This one would be a tricycle video. This one would definitely be a tricycle. I, I like how we've like established like a new grade. Yeah. I think we're, we're really gonna go back to like LA and be like, all right, get the chimney. <laughs> <laughs> This one was made uh, not too long ago, actually. Um, it was, once again, shot in a day, and uh, just, just us two, pretty much. How many of you guys have seen our short films, like the, the Hong Kong One Days? Or the... Wow. Awesome. So this one is sort uh, of... Yeah, this one is like the, the same sensibility as that. So Except in English. In English, and <laughs> in not, not in Hong Kong. Uh, so that's that's about it. Um, so enjoy, and uh, we'll show you guys. And then after that, there's like another a second video that's just a, a fun treat that we like, and I think you guys will like. So enjoy. We'll be back. So I, I, I haven't added uh, credits or anything to the, to the end of the first video. So it, if it ends like abruptly, that's the end. <laughs> just so you know, and you're not like waiting.